This is where steel is made. Welcome to the basic oxygen steel making plant at the heart of the Port Albert Steel Works. Today we've come down to talk to Dean Hills. Dean Hills is the area production manager here and we're talking to him about what's happening behind us or about to happen behind us which is the reline of converter number one. Now this is a process that happens a few times a year so it's not that unusual but it's a process that we probably haven't seen before firsthand. Dean, thanks very much for welcoming us here today. Uh, now tell us a bit about what's going to happen next to this vessel behind us. So first of all, uh, the converter normally does about 4,000 hits. After the 4,000 hits, we normally do about, we start wrecking the converter. So the slag cover that's actually on the converter, we melt that, we strip that, and then we remove the bricks from the actual lining. So we can see now the converters on its side. As you said, you've removed the, the sort of slag from the outside of it. Those panels on the, on the mouth of the vessel are coming off next. And then how do you take those bricks out and, and how, how big a process is that? So what we got is we got the two segments. They'll actually come off tonight. And we've got a long arm gradle and similar to what we've actually got on the side there. And it'll actually start hammering the bricks away. We'll create, create a channel and that'll actually collapse the bricks then and then hopefully they'll fall out. And of course that's keeping people well out of the way so it's quite a safe operation, it's one you do very often. So you take those bricks out, now tell me there's two linings in the vessel aren't there just to be clear, you're only taking one of those linings out? So we've got a safety lining that's normally about 200 millimetre thick and that's followed by a, a lining end, the working lining is a thousand millimetres thick. So at the end of the campaign that can narrow down to about 50 to 100 millimetres and then, so it's very thin as you can imagine. We'll strip that, and then what we'll actually do, we'll try and save the safety lining. So we'll inspect the safety lining probably tomorrow morning, and then we'll actually make a decision then whether we take that out, or hopefully there's 100,000 100, pound savings, and we'll actually leave that in then for the three campaigns. Wow, so that lining's coming out this afternoon and this evening, and it'll be ready tomorrow, right? And then, once you've wrecked the lining, then the process of relining the vessel, and you. Am I right in thinking you turn that vessel vertically yeah. and, then, and then what happens? So we put a reline tower in and we got 17,000 bricks then, around about anything between 800 and 1,000 millimetres long that actually go into the converter then, the reline net. So they go down in the reline tower in, in pallets and then they manually handle it then into the converter, into the, into the line. It's a radial build, so we'll start off with the king block in the bottom and they'll just continuously work the way up building it. Well those guys are going to earn their money aren't they Net, over the next couple of weeks because that sounds like a big job. Now how are they doing that in Covid times and socially distancing? What arrangements do you have in place for that? So previously we used to have around eight to ten people in a converter but with Covid restrictions now it, it takes longer but we've actually got four men in a converter and we've got two men then taking the bricks down in the lift. Yeah, and we'll come back next week and come and talk to some of those guys and see how they're getting on. It's an incredibly huge piece of work, you know, and a lot of money and a lot of people involved. But this one seems slightly more complicated because we are between the diesel station at that end and the working vessel at that end. How's it working when you're still making steel in the other vessel? Uh, the guys who are working within this vicinity, every 25 minutes, they've actually got to come away and then they've got to come back to the job after they've charged. So they work for about 25 minutes around this stage area and then they actually, uh, while they charge in the operation to make it safe, everyone vacates this vicinity, they charge a converter, a scrap, an iron, and then we actually come back on and continue again. Wow, and what about the guys who are inside the vessel bricking? Are they pretty safe in there, I would think? They'll continue in the, in the converter. Listen, this is an extraordinary piece of work and I know, as I said before, it happens a few times a year and these guys probably take it as red, but it's, uh, it's unbelievable when you get up close to it. Uh, the scale of the project, the size of the bricks, you know, the amount of work that's going on and doing it in a live environment and in a COVID environment is absolutely extraordinary. You see nothing quite like it. Dean, I can't wait to come back next week and see how it's going on, but for now, thanks very much for your time.